last night at Pokai Bay. Um, it's been amazing, amazing here. Spent the last two days kind of hunkered down. Big wind event. The trades were blowing strong, as they say here. Some like rainstorms blowing through at night and stuff. Uh, winds got up to the most I saw when I had the gauge on was about 25 knots. We we held good seven scope out and um, yeah, I was happy to be in someplace so protected. It's nice having this this old breakwater here so that all we had to deal with was the wind. We didn't have any swell whatsoever. So this is an absolutely fantastic anchorage. And um, I will certainly be back. Another boat came in a little bit ago. Double ender dropped their hook. And um, I'm going to be hauling up in the morning because the winds are finally dying down and making my way to Makua Bay or Makua Anchorage. And um, it's supposed to be like a really beautiful anchorage. So I look forward to seeing that. It's the last anchorage before you round the point and would head around to the North Shore. So kind of the end of the road for the west side. And um, after that, then we'll make our way back down the coast, um, back towards the city. This is definitely one of my favorite anchorages I've ever stayed at. It kind of has everything you need. It's got incredible snorkeling. The water is warm enough that you can just jump in and swim whenever you want. It's very protected. It's totally protected from the swell. It has good holding. Um, you can take your dinghy ashore. That's the only one thing is there's like quite a bit of theft in this area. So you only take your dinghy ashore, you row it ashore, you leave your outboard off, and then you pull it up by the lifeguard tower. And this is what I was told by many, many cruisers. So it's not like this is some idea that I had. This is what everyone that cruises in this area told me to do. Um, there's like, so you drag it up to the lifeguard station and they watch it for you. And um, then uh, you can walk right into town. There's the store there. There's like kind of everything within reach of this little anchorage. Yeah, really, really great anchorage. But I'm excited to move on and explore new stuff and uh, see what else the West Side has to offer. Time to haul up here at Pokai Bay. The most beautiful anchorage I've ever been to at this point in my life. And head on to Makua Bay, um, which is the most isolated um, uh, anchorage and beach on Oahu. Should be a short little pop up north up the west coast. And um, let's go see what that anchorage has to offer.
Just looking at that anchorage here, um, that white strip of sand is the beach that we're gonna be anchoring in front of, Makua Beach. Looking at the geographic features of that hill, that looks like it would be super gnarly downslope conditions. Um, so we'll see what it's all about. The worst of the blow is supposed to be done, um, but we'll find out. But either way, at least we're not on a lee shore, which is the most important part, but um, Looking at that, that hillside, man, it looks like the winds would just tear down that. This, this scene over here is crazy. It's so green. And then that is the very end of the, that point right there. That point is the very end of Oahu, you round that point and you head to the north, you're on the north shore. Yeah, so, looks like the south swell has kind of calmed down too. It was kind of coming in for a couple days, but everything seems pretty mellow right now, but we'll see what the night brings. Just as I suspected, it's blowing like 18 to 20 on the nose, that downslope. We were also just in the lee of all the mountains before, so it's okay though. It'll set the hook real quick. And um, we have a big giant area to land on, so that's good. It's all supposed to be sand. We're going right in the middle of the anchorage, dropping the hook and um, getting her set. Okay, we're anchored with five scope at Makua Bay. And again, crazy scenery. It's like the Lord of the Rings or something. It's crazy. Okay, time to dive on the anchor. Don't know that I'll actually dive on it. I'm gonna swim over it and just take a look at it and make sure it's set. 
it's in 30 feet of water. So um, let's get out there and see what it looks like. So I've been here a couple hours now and um, it's blowing 20 to 25 knots kind of constant and um, it looks like there's um, a front moving in. It's funny the wind, the forecast last time I downloaded it said that it was tapering off today but now I downloaded it and it's staying steady. Um, got the dishes done, working on editing and files but um let's look out at this gorgeous landscape and um also at these clouds moving in So, probably not going to shore today. If I do, I'll just swim ashore. But it is, it is really howling out there. Anchor has not budged. She is set so deep. I love that. It makes me very happy. I'm going to sleep very soundly tonight. But yeah, we're in for another blow. That means I can just buckle down and get a bunch of editing done and be happy that I'm surrounded by such incredible beauty.